Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a string to an integer the beginner way. And the beginner way is it's an unsafe way because um, there, could, there could be issues. First what we're going to do is just we're going to create a string called, called str and then we're going to assign it to 69. And then we're going to create an integer called i and now we're going to parse the string into an integer by using the keyword int because that's what we're trying to parse to. Dot parse and then the first parameter we're going to use str as the argument because that's what we're trying to parse from. Now what we're going to do is write the output. So we're just going to do write i. And now we are going to just pause the console. And run it. But before I run it, I'm going to explain what this does. So, so string is the is the type that's we're def um, that we're declaring. String is the is what's the um, name of the variable is, and 69 is the value. Int is the type. Once again, i is what we're calling it, and then the, what we're assigning it is an integer, obviously. And the way we're doing that is we are trying to parse this from a string to an integer. So we are calling Int. So we're basically asking, we're forcing the integer to change this into an integer without it's without it having any input on it. So even if it doesn't work, it's going to try it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Then it's just going to output it and pause the console. So we're, we're going to run it. And it works. And this is because inside the string is a value. So integer is happy to um, parse, to change the string into an integer because it works. Now if we were to type in anything else, never, yeah. an elf, like this, uh, something like 69, it's the same thing. So integer, we're forcing ints to convert 69 to an integer without its input. So even if it doesn't work, he can't tell us or she can't tell us. They can't tell us anything. They have no. They have what they what they what they say doesn't matter. And now we're going to run it. We get an error because it was not in the correct format. Now there are there are ways of working around this, and I will show the, show you that in another video, which is the advanced way of com of um parsing strings to an integer. This was just a very, 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 very simple way of parsing anything. And you can use it, you can use this method in any way. You can try, you can do it from floats, from double, from anything. All you have to do is replace the keyword. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, please um, subscribe for more If in comments. If you, if you have anything to request, like if you like the video, or thumbs it down if you don't, do whatever you need to do. Um, Till then, I'll see you next time.